speak me. She says, come back and eat that yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. I speak. <laughs> this is my mom. You lick it. I speak. <laughs> yeah. I speak to give him. Good morning internet, it is 20 past 8 in the morning and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the desert of Mauritania. Last night was the second night out camping in the desert. If you have missed the last couple of episodes then watch those, that will all make sense. Um, I am now traveling with Ahmed who is Mauritanian and today we're hoping to reach Chingeti. I'm going to show you on the map where that is. I've just been using this map for here that Ahmed gave me because it's actually a lot better than the one I have. So short recap, we left Atar, we went all the way up here. This is where we spent the first night. Then in the last video we rode straight through the eye here, through the reshot structure, the eye of the Sahara and then we continued to Wadan and then into the desert here and we now we slept just before the Tanushir oasis and the plan for today is just to continue first to Chingueti, Chingueti. so that should be about a three hours ride through the dunes and then we reach here and I'm gonna have a look around town here so that's the plan um, Alaska is already topped up on fuel I'm just gonna uh, top up on water as well uh, make sure that my backpack is full and then uh, we're quickly gonna hit the road, well, road. <laughs> we're gonna hit the desert before it gets really hot again. All right, let's go. On to Chingeti, which is also gonna be a pretty interesting place. And I will also be able to have a shower <laughs> in Chingeti. It's also gonna be nice. And then after, I think I'll be continuing on on my own again because then we are kind of closer to Atar it's not so remote anymore so I'll be able to just go on my own without the need of extra fuel and water and all of that somewhere here there are some nomads as well because last night I heard a donkey <laughs> And we also saw footprints of a cat next to the tent. And Ahmed also actually saw a cat, so there are nomads somewhere in this area, maybe a few kilometers away. Didn't see any scorpions. Ahmed showed me because he slept out in the open. Ah, I should have filmed it, but anyway, he has a system to make sure that scorpions cannot crawl on the mats that he was sleeping on. He made like a small little ditch uh, all right on the edges of his mat, sleeping mat. So scorpions can't uh, get on. It's like there's black scorpions here, red ones and white ones. And especially the black ones are, uh, are dangerous. Look, we're gonna cross right in between here. <laughs> Look at that, okay, I'm gonna need some speed for this.
almost in Chinguetti. I think I see some houses. Must be here. Ah, these buildings are beautiful, right? Look at this. Wow, oh, stunning. So I just had my first shower in three days. <laughs> it was divine. I'm quickly gonna show you the place that I'm staying. My room is in here. And you think, hey, there's no windows, but it's great because inside it's really cool. This is the outside area. So I'm now going uh, into town with Ahmed. We had to wait because it was so incredibly hot today. It was a lot hotter than the previous couple of days. So it's now around 5 p.m. and it's finally, oh, it's still really hot, but it's cooling down just a little bit. So we're just going uh, into town for two things. First of all, remember my little pink comb that I bought in Morocco. I've lost it. <laughs> so it is gone. So let me stand in the shade. So I'm gonna again look for a comb. So I wonder if this is going to be a thing. If every new country that I enter, I'm gonna buy a different comb. Anyway, very stupid. Uh, and the other thing is actually what I came here for. There are some really amazingly old libraries here in Chinguetti that I of course wanna check out. Oh, hi there. You wanna say hi? What's up? Oh, there's a little goatee here. Anyway, I was planning to find a library myself, but then Ahmed said, look, I'll bring you in the car, then you don't have to put all your motorcycle gear back on. So I thought, it's <laughs> actually a nice idea. Go with the car, check out the libraries, or buy a comb, check out the libraries. That's the plan. I must not forget this one. This. No? This no, this is not mine. Where is my... The ah, this is, this is, this is, cargo. Yeah. yeah. Before I forget. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Before charging my... Yeah. Uh, this. Yes. This one. It's not the same. Thank you. In the, in the charge are this. Is. Yeah, that's, yeah. Have come. Ah, yes, yes. This? Ah, no, a bit bigger, bigger. Uh, no. I need more more space between. If you know uh, what I mean. Space uh, is more than here. More room. It's too small. Go and uh, we have one. Area. Okay. No, not good, not good. <laughs> I'm picky about my comb. That one is not going to work. Ah, look at that! 
Yeah, yeah, this is good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, good. It's 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 good. This is brilliant. I now have a red comb. <laughs> back here, it's a tea. Speak to me. She says, come back and eat that tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I speak. <laughs> this is my mom. You look at I speak. <laughs> yeah. I speak to give him. You will not understand. Because this is my name, Dijon Shingiti. Okay. Now we go find yeah. library. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh, oh. this one, heavy. They put here in the poof. Yeah, 12 millimeters. 12 millimeters. Wow. 12 millimeter. Yeah. Helen. Show me. That's an old key. Old key. It's like this. When you want to open, yeah. you have to put here. They, f they know how they open and put it down. And uh, someone and they, they coming down. It's big. Or pink now, but they uh, yeah, have okay. Another one, <laughs> but this normally that would is, yes, yeah. yes, that is work they're making here. If you make around the uh, no, 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 not this place, yeah. it doesn't open, cannot open. Yes, that's cool. You can take it to the Europa Bank, make it. <laughs> <laughs> We're now at the oldest library of Chingeti, there are 12 libraries here. This is the oldest one. And same like Wadan, this place also is on the Trans-Saharan route. So this used to be a very important trading place and also for pilgrims moving to Mecca. So pilgrims that would go to Mecca, it would take them six months from here to reach and then six months back. And then part would be walking and part would be go with camels. And there were times where there were 32,000 camels at the same time here for trading. So people would come from Morocco, from all over northern Africa to here to trade. And where I am right now is already kind of the second place of Chingeti because where Chingeti was originally got completely swallowed by the sand. So I don't know if it was one sandstorm or several, but it's just completely covered by sand. So they rebuilt here and there's already also a third <laughs> Chingeti because parts of this area are also just slowly being swallowed by the sand. So I hope I can go inside and have a look at some of the books. Um, it's, it's about mathematics, astronomy, astrology. It's a whole variety of subjects and they keep it all here. Or This is the main and the oldest library. So, it's a poesy. It's a poesy. These are very poetry. old books. Ah, yeah. uh, poetry. Poetry. Wow. Uh, sure. How old are these scripts? Poesy. Oh, wow. Here. Prayer book. A prayer book. Here. 
истори профет. И е астрономи анд астролиши. Астрономи анд астролиши. И е граматик бог. И е кейзием секл. Кейзием. Секл кейзел. Дизвитием секл. Дизвитием секл. Трезием секл. 13th century. Yeah. Here, old pre-Islamic. Do they know the name of the person that writes? Sami Nasidi. Other Makudi. Makudi, Iraqia. Makudi. Iraq. Shema'il, Tirmidhi, Arabi Saudi. Saudi Arabia. Here, Maroc. Maroc. No, I don't know. Here, poesy pre-Islamic. Old poesy. Old, old. I, I was just wondering about the different color. Yeah. Uh, uh, why mini color? Mini poet. Maybe all the chat messenger WhatsApp. Maybe mini color. Mini mini mini, mini, mini poet. Oh, I old guess. chat messenger WhatsApp. Similar. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. This old WhatsApp. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Amazing. Thank you. Thank Shukran. You, thank you. Shukran. The sun is now almost setting and it just gives such nice colors to all the, all the buildings, right? All right, I am going to end this video. As you can probably tell, I am, I'm absolutely exhausted. It was really an amazing trip, um, but it was really, really long days and I didn't really sleep much <laughs> at night in the tent. I'm not used to it. I'm not used to it. <laughs> I'm used to the luxury of a bed, I guess. Um, so yeah, very little sleep, long days on the bike, hard work in the sand. Alaska really, Alaska got a beating. Um, <laughs> every now and then I was just worried that I was going to blow up her engine, honestly. Um, because yeah, some stretches only sand. So sometimes you, you have to stop for whatever reason take a break or whatever and then to just to get going again it's really it was really hard on Alaska's engine and this really fine Saharan dust it gets everywhere so yeah I wouldn't be surprised if my fuel filter is getting a little bit clogged as well I don't know also I think I mentioned it before my rear tire got a big beating on all the rocks uh, around the eye of the Sahara so all things considered i've taken the decision to kind of make my way to senegal now uh, mauritania does not have big motorbikes so to get anything done in mauritania or to find tires or anything is not going to happen so my plan is to make it to dakar in senegal and get new tires get a big big service uh, oil change have a look at the oil um at the um, See, I'm so tired. <laughs> Dakar is going to be, I guess, the first kind of stop or like a pit stop on this journey around the African continent where Alaska is going to need a lot of TLC. <laughs> uh, and me as well. I'll probably take a break there as well. Uh, also, while I, you know, sort out parts and that sort of thing. But anyway, that's for a couple of, uh, couple of rides from now. First, I have to still make it out of Mauritania. But um, I'm going to not make too many details anymore from now on. So that means that in the next video, I'm leaving Cingretti. I'll be on my own again. Uh, I just said goodbye to Ahmed. And um, yeah, it was really, well, without him, I wouldn't have been able to, to do that whole loop. Uh, so of course, it was actually for me a little bit out of my comfort zone because I am so used to just be on my own all the time, make all the decisions and it's it's very different if you're traveling with somebody else and then of course with the car um, it was also yeah something I've never done before and uh, I still prefer solo travel it's what I really like but this was good and yeah as I said uh, without this I, I wouldn't have been able to reach it all the way with the fuel and the water and also I suppose the security because <laughs> it's out there out there 
So um, I think it was great to, to do this loop and Ahmed introduced me to a lot of local people and he could translate and it was really amazing. But now it's time to say goodbye as I do all the time on my journey. I meet new people and I say goodbye again and move on. That is part of uh, this life, I suppose. So I'll be on my own again in the next video, making my way south. But for now, I'm going to end this video and I think, I don't know what time it is now, maybe seven o'clock and I'm going to bed. <laughs> I really, uh, I'm just on the edge, like I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I really need a long sleep. Um, I want to leave again early in the morning because temperatures, I don't know what happened, but within a day, temperatures feels like they rose like 10 or 20 degrees. It suddenly got really hot. So it's, I suppose, also time to just head south because the time that you can spend in the Sahara, it's, it's kind of limited <laughs> to a certain time of the year. Uh, I guess from November till March, April, but then it already gets way too hot. So I've been kind of stretching it a little bit. So it really is time to head south. Not that it's going to be a lot cooler. <laughs> Uh, I think it will be more humid, it will get more humid as I move south, but at least I'll be moving out of the desert soon. So yeah, I've had amazing Saharan adventures, I think, but it's time to head south and go towards more greener lands. So that was it for today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and then I'll see you in the next video.